Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. Primate Ayodele tells Nigerians, don't PT Tinubu is experiencing the effect of a milukon. A milukon was a serious invocation Tinubu did to command things in his favor, that it was his turn and he must have it. What is going on now is as a result of some of the decision he made where he went to how far he has gone is what is keeping us in this country where we are at at the moment no one should pity him all that is going on around him was told him that it will happen but he said he gives no real concern on that matter so please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details the leader of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elisha Ayodili, has asked Nigerians not to pity President Bola Ahmed Tinubu as he is experiencing the effect of Emilokon. Emilokon was a strange, strong deity that Tinubu invoked to ensure he becomes Nigerian's president. Despite all, he made sure of that. Following the prevailing hardship in the country, Prime Etayo Dili noted that Nigerians should pray for President Tinubu. According to him, there is so much rot in the country, and if measures are not put in place to tackle this menace, there will be worsen problem in the nation. He noted that soon commodities will be costier and three square meal will become a problem for the people. In a statement issued by the media aid Oluwatosi, there is so much rot in the system, and if the government doesn't work on solution, the worst is at hand. Increment in salaries is in the best way if they don't tackle the real issue. The more the salary increase, the more the hardship. I am not an economist, but what is coming up soon is what I am revealing now. I will be revealing my 2024 prophecy in the forthcoming days where I will expect Nigerians to pay attention to know what to expect very soon. Commodities will be costlier and three square with me will become a luxury. The government need economists, clergymen that will see tomorrow and give a solution. If they like, they should say it is a lie. I am not bothered, but but it won't stop me from delivering God's message. Nigeria is shaking economically, but they don't hear the truth and they don't want to. Nobody should pity Tinubu because of what is going on. He asks for it. He only he only help him in prayers. He's experiencing the effect of a milukon and Muslim Muslim ticket. The effect of what he did, how far he went to ensure that he became Nigerian's president is what he's currently experiencing. Nobody should give him the opportunity for any pity party. He called this upon himself. Tinubu knows exactly what he was doing when he got into what he got into. And so no one should pity him, not in the slightest least. So that's our brother Prime Etayo Dele says Tinubu is, is enjoying the dividend of his democracy. Uh, when I mean, what I mean by that is Tinubu um, has sown some seeds and um, as it's customary, when you plant, it's only normal that you will eat uh, when the time for harvest comes. Says, so Tinubu is just experiencing harvest season uh, based on where he has taken off from. And these are part of some of the things that are happening to him now. This is what, you know, he he has put his hands into and this is what is happening. And it is important that everybody understands that it is not one person doing Tinubu. It is the effect of the deity he consulted and what he did to ensure that he becomes Nigerian's president. He said that effect is what Tinubu is currently experiencing. He said there is no need for anybody to pity him. Okay, he said there is no need at all. Nobody should pity him. So this is what is happening. This is part of what is going on. And uh, we just thought we should let you know, uh, you know, um, you know, everybody, every one of us should ensure that we stand on the position of truth and we do not allow, you know, the same people to hold us down. Uh, Nigeria needs to move forward and this is the time. Okay, this is the time and um, 
you know, and we all should be very careful because the days upon us are very critical. It's very, very important. And then we must not allow the same thing over and over again. If we want this country to move forward, if we want Nigeria to be a better place, everyone will have to ensure that we do what is right, what is needed, okay, to sort and to make this nation a better place. So Emilokon, he said, is Emilokon that is troubling Tinubu, nothing more, nothing less that uh, what Tinubu is experiencing is just as a result of the evocation he has done, the things he has put in place, and what is going on is just him reaping, you know, from where he has sowed. You know, when you sow, you reap. He says, so that's just simply put, that's what is going on with Tinubu. Nothing more, nothing less. Nobody should take it to heart that something extraordinary is happening. It's just, it's just the way it is with Tinubu, you know. So my people, we don't know what else to say rather than to look and um, wait patiently to see, you know, what Prime Itayo Dele is saying. Nigeria belongs to us and uh, we have a duty of care to ensure that we do everything humanly speaking possible and get this nation to where it needs to be. There are persons, there are people who would stop at nothing to ensure that, you know, they take charge and they are the ones who determine what happens. But as it stands, the days are upon us where everyone will need to take, you know, real responsibility for what is going on in the country. If you need to speak, if you need to ensure that, you know, you do not allow um, selfish people, if you know what to do, whatever you can put in place to make our nation better, we all have to do it. So they say, I'm Milo Konai, they do Tinobu, nothing more, nothing less. That is just the the spirit of a Milo Kon. Okay, it says just the spirit of a Milo Kon that um, what Nigerians are suffering is as a result of the invocation that uh, Tinobu invoked upon the land. So, uh, you know, just bear with it. It is what it is. Well, my lovely people, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. And so we must speak out together and end every abnormality to make this nation a better place. Please, every one of us, we must do all that is needed and necessary to save this country from the current predicament and help us get into a better place. The days upon us are so critical, it's so important that we all work at it and end, you know, people who want to uh, take from this nation at all costs because they feel it is their best right. Yes, leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.